Today, we're gonna take a look at parkour. By far the best parkour managing plugin out there. If you're running a fully dedicated parkour server or you're just running a simple parkour inside of your lobby, it does not matter. With the parkour plugin, you can add a starting block, a finish block, checkpoints, even all kinds of crazy effects. It is very customizable, very cool, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So before we start this video, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel, as most people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though it just takes a single click, two clicks if you also want to enable notifications. And with those two clicks, you would help me out for a lifetime. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So parkour is a great plugin that lets you manage the parkour maps inside of your Minecraft server. Like you can see, I've made myself an amazing parkour map here. I call it Leaf Jump. You jump from one leaf to the other one, dead four times, and then you, you're at the finish. That's all. But I'm so proud of this Leaf Jump, and I actually want to turn it into a parkour map managed by the parkour plugin. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is choose a start block. So what is the block player should start on when doing this parkour? In my case, I'm gonna choose this block over here, this one on top of the tree. So just go and stand there, look in the direction you actually want players to look at as soon as they join the parkour. That's really important, because the plugin will actually remember that location. So if we stand here and then look in this direction, then players will spawn exactly like this. So we're just gonna stand here and then type slash PA create. Then what are we gonna create? We're gonna create a new course. So PA create course and after that the name of your course. In my case it will be leaf jump just like that. Enter and there we go. So the next thing we want to do is add a checkpoint. To do that go and stand on the block you want to create a checkpoint on, in my case this leaf over here. Then once again look in the direction your parkour map is heading. So I'm just gonna stand in this direction and then type slash PA create but this time not a course but we're gonna create a checkpoint and the checkpoint is for the map leaf jump so slash pa create checkpoint leaf jump press enter and then the checkpoint has been created you can see that the checkpoint has been created because of this stone pressure plate it is a really hard map i have to say it's kind of impossible to complete this but i think our players just have to manage it with only one checkpoint so i'm gonna keep it like this so then the next thing is actually a finish block now to set the finish block first you will need to grab the parkour kit to do that just type slash pa kit just like that by doing that you will get tons of items in your inventory and all of these blocks actually have their own property so here we got a no run block a climb block a bounce block speed block death block no potion block a finish block uh-huh uh-huh the one we were looking for then a repulse block and a launch block and then just a normal sign what the sign is for i will show you later but cool we got all sorts of blocks and all of these blocks have their own property now the one we were looking for is the finish block so this one over here now let's say you want the finish block to be a different block than the mushroom block then there are two ways to do that you can create your own parkour kit or you can actually edit this one the existing one the default one i'm actually going to show you how to edit this existing one so the way you want to do that is type slash ba parkour kits edit and then the one you want to edit in this case it is the default one because we haven't created one ourselves so pa parkour kit edit default and it will ask you what do you want to do well i want to actually add a block to this parkour kit the default parkour kit so we're gonna type add enter then what material do you want to choose well i think we're going for bedrock why not bedrock there we go what kind of property should bedrock have so what kind of block does bedrock need to be does it need to be a dev block, launch block, speed block, or in our case, a finish block? So I'm gonna type finish, there we go. Would you like to add another material? No, and cancel. There we go. So now if I clear all the items out of my inventory, like that, and then we type PA kit again, this time I will also have a bedrock block that is called finish block. And this will now also be a finish block. So let's just place the block over here. And now if we start the parkour and we stand on it, it will actually finish the parkour great so our parkour is pretty much done we got a checkpoint we got a finish block now we can if we want we can add another block like let's say a bounce block i mean that could be interesting 
Let's add a bounce block over here. Just like that. And let's put it down a little bit. Cool. Let's make the parkour map even more interesting than it already was. <laughs> so now we got a checkpoint, a bounce block after, and then two more blocks until the finish. I think it's perfect. After setting up your parkour map, all you need to do is type slash PA ready and then the name of your parkour map. In my case, leaf jump. So PA ready leaf jump, enter, and there we go. The ready status of leaf jump was set to true. So now people will actually be able to to join this parkour map. The next step will be actually setting a lobby. The lobby is basically the place after the players finish the parkour, where will they be teleported to? Well, you don't want them to stay here on this random block. You actually want them to teleport back to the place where they started the parkour. Or maybe some other kinds of lobby. To do that, very easy, just go and stand somewhere and then type slash PA set lobby. Just like that, PA set lobby, default lobby created. So now after finishing this parkour map, we will be teleported to there. Now, how do we actually join this parkour map? There are three different ways how you can do that. First of all is type slash PA join and then the name of the parkour map. So PA join leaf jump would immediately put me in the leaf jump parkour map. What we can also do is type slash PA all. This will actually pop up a GUI with all the available parkour maps in there. So the one and only parkour map on this server Server is leaf jump but if I would have multiple parkour maps on this server they would all show up here in this GUI really really handy so that's the second method the third method is creating a sign so by just grabbing a sign placing it and then typing one of these brackets parkour uh, then another one of those brackets then on the next row join and then on the row beneath that the name of your actual parkour map in my case a uh, leaf jump then after clicking on done this will actually be a sign that lets us join the parkour map now let's test out if it actually works so let's right click here on the parkour map and there we go i actually join we're currently in the parkour map you can see that because my game mode has been changed and also i got four items in my inventory the first item is an arrow and it says shift plus right click to go back to your last checkpoint this is toggle visibility so if you are in a parkour map with multiple people and you're just being really annoying you can make them invincible very handy then the next one is shift plus right click to leave the course and this one is for restarting the course now what type of material this is you can fully customize in the config file i will show you how to do that later in this video but let's go and do some parkouring let's go and jump on the first block and the second one and then we already got a checkpoint, all checkpoints achieved. That's because we only got a single one. If I would have five checkpoints, for example, it would say one out of five, two out of five, all the way until we would also have achieved every single checkpoint. So that's really cool. And from now on, if I die, I will actually respawn here at this checkpoint. Then the next block is actually a bounce block. And what this does is give us a massive jump boost. So now we will be able to jump really, really high, which is really handy because now I can jump here to this block. And before I couldn't. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go to the next block and then the last one, the bedrock block, is actually the finish block. So if we jump on here, I will finish the course. I will be teleported back here to the lobby we set. It will display my deaths and the time it took me and it actually rewards me with a diamond. Ooh, we got a diamond. Now if you actually don't want to reward your players with a diamond or something else, then that's fully customizable. Lots of the settings about this parkour map you can actually change in slash B PA settings and then the name of your parkour map in my case leaf jump so PA settings leaf jump enter and here we got all sorts of settings to change I'm not going over all of them because there are many but for example the ready status here we got the reward once disabled so should a player only get a reward one time or multiple times then we got challenge only resumable die in liquid which could actually be really handy if you make a parkour map over an ocean for example then die in void fall damage all that stuff is just changeable here and one of those settings is also the set price so you can actually change the price here now most of this stuff is just completely up to you but one thing I think is really handy to point out is that this is the place where you can change the parkour kit so like I mentioned earlier in this video we actually added the bedrock finish block to an already existing parkour kit. That already existing parkour kit is called default. The current parkour kit this map is using is 
default. If I would create a completely new parkour kit out of scratch, then I would have to change the parkour kit this parkour map is using here. Otherwise, it will not work with leaf jump. Now, like I mentioned earlier in this video, there's actually lots of stuff you can change in the config file. Now, personally, I find it a lot easier to edit stuff in the config than in game. So let's go to the config file and let me show you. So to go to your config file, simply go into your plugins folder, after that to parkour, and then config.yml. After opening it, you can see there are tons of options for you to change. And 99% of it you won't need. But it's still really handy to take a look at this, especially if you want to fully customize your experience. Some of the things you might want to give some attention is for example, the set game mode. What game mode should a player go in after joining the parkour map? I like to leave it on game mode adventure, though if you want them to be in creative for example then you can do that now here you can just change some simple things like for example disable item drop disable item pickup disable fall damage disable fly just those standard things now it's also pretty important on finish set game mode so what do you want the game mode of the player to be after finishing a parkour map if this is a parkour map in your lobby then i would leave this to adventure though if it is a parkour map inside of survival then you might want to leave it on survival now all of this stuff is cool it's interesting, but it's for you to take a look at yourself. Though this is what is actually very interesting. The parkour tools. So this is the arrow and the bone and the stick we saw that actually have different effects like leaving the parkour, going back to your last checkpoint. All those materials can be changed here. So if you want the last checkpoint tool to not be an arrow, but for example, an iron ore or something like that, then you can change that. There's lots of stuff here, lots of settings. I would suggest just scrolling through the whole config, check out everything and edit it towards your liking. Now something else very handy to point out is if you go to the other folder, except for in the config file, you just go to other and then to parkourkits.yml, you will also be able to edit your whole parkour kit here. So you don't have to go through all that in-game stuff, you can just simply edit this emerald block to diamond block, for example example and now the lounge block of the default set is a diamond block. I personally think this is a lot easier though if you all want to do it in game totally do that though I found that editing it here is just easier. It's just a lot easier. So I would actually recommend it. And then guys, that's it. That's how you set up parkour inside of your Minecraft server. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel. Most people who do watch my videos are actually not. So smashing that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell would really, really help me out. Now, if you do have any more questions about this plugin, make sure to leave them in the comments of this video. And then that's it. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.